Hello everyone, I'm Jason, Coffee Bot of Nespresso Singapore. Today, I'm going to share what to look out for when selecting your coffees in Nespresso. We have more than 29 coffees, but how do you choose the coffee you love? In this session, we'll look at three key considerations during your selection. The first key to look out for is the type of coffee beans. There are two types of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. Both coffee species have very different flavour profiles. Arabica is considered sweeter and softer in taste. We often get aromatic notes of fruits and flowers due to its fine acidity. More than 60% of the world's coffee production comes from Arabica cultivators. On the other hand, Robusta is considered stronger and harsher in taste. It is widely used in espresso blends for a fuller body with grain-like overtones and a nutty aftertaste. It is hardier, produces better yields and also packs more caffeine. The second key is roasting. Roasting coffee is an art. Poor roasting can destroy the best coffee. And the same coffee can have different taste profiles depending on the roasting techniques. Before roasting, coffee beans has a very grassy vegetable aroma that is nothing like what we recognize as coffee. Roasting develops the unmistakable aromas we associate with the beverage. At Nespresso, we have three different types of roasting. Light, medium and dark. Light roasting possesses fine acidity, which gives you delightful aromatic notes of fruits and flowers. It is also lighter in the body. Medium rolls tend to have a more balanced flavour and aroma. The taste profile for this category is often round and smooth. Lastly, dark roasted coffee has a lower acidity, heavier body and tend to reveal darker flavours. They are usually bitter, smoky and roasted on the taste profiles. At Nespresso, we simplified the roasting parameters by using intensity. This system allows us to measure the bitterness, body and roasting degree in our coffees. Bitterness is the characteristics of a highly roasted coffee. Think of dark chocolate and baking cocoa. Coffee is naturally bitter. Body refers to the coffee's weight in the mouth. A full-bodied coffee is often thick and dense, whereas a light-bodied coffee is often perceived as watery and fluid. And finally, with roastiness, it simply refers to the roasting degree in our coffee. I hope this simple roasting guide has helped you to understand roasting a bit better. <music> Lastly, let's talk about the aroma of coffee. In the world of coffee, there are more than 900 words used to describe the different aromatics. At Nespresso, we simplified them into three main aromatic families, the intense, balanced and fruity. With the intense category, you can expect dark, powerful roasting with early aromatic notes of wood and spices. For the balance, you will smell cereals, toasted grains and oats. And lastly, for the fruity floral range, you may get aromatic notes of citrus fruits, berries and flowers. But where do these flavours come from? The fragrance and flavour of the coffee stems from a few different factors. One important factor is the country of origin, the place where coffee is grown. At Nespresso, we source coffee from 14 different countries. Each country has its own specific flavours and attributes that can be tasted and recognised. Let's explore three different coffees from some of the world's most renowned regions and find out how different their aromatic profiles are. The Nespresso Master Origins has five unique coffee experiences. Each of these coffee has a specific process or harvesting technique that makes it different from the rest of the range you get the best of a country in a cup. The first coffee I'd like to share is the Master Origins Ethiopia. This coffee belongs to the fruity floral range. It is slightly roasted and has a smooth body with sweet floral notes. Have you ever wondered how coffee was discovered? Kaudi was a goat herder who discovered coffee after witnessing how energetic his goats became after eating the cherries. He brought these cherries to the monastery and shared with the monk who then exclaimed they were malicious and threw them into the fire. The aroma of the beans burning the fire was enticing and the roasted beans were quickly raked up from the embers, crushed up, dissolved in hot water, yielding the world's first cup of coffee. The next coffee we have is the Master Origins Nicaragua. 
This black honey processed arabica is a nectarous coffee. It goes through a medium and short roast, which gives us smooth honey texture and sweet cereal notes, which are flavor profiles from the balanced range. Lastly, we have the Master Origins India, which belongs to the intense category. This range goes through a long and dark roasting, which results in a full body and syrupy cup. Master Origins India owes its wild taste to the unique monsooning process, where the coffee beans spend months facing the sea winds, developing beautiful woody spice notes. Hmm, I'm gonna go with the India, because I like my coffee intense and woody. What about you? I hope this session has helped you to understand a bit more about our coffee and what to look out for when you're selecting one for yourself. To discover more about the range of coffees in Nespresso, speak to our friendly coffee specialists in our boutiques or visit our website. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.